हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे एस एस आर एस एच पी यू फिजिक्स चैनल हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ए सी यूजिंग सोनोमीटर एक्सपेरिमेंट द एम इज टू डिटरमाइन द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अल्टरनेटिंग करंट यूजिंग सोनोमीटर एंड एन एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप इज शोन हियर यू कैन वॉच इट सो दर इज अ सोनोमीटर बोर्ड एंड अ वायर इज अटैच एट वन एंड ऑफ द सोनोमीटर बोर्ड एंड इट इज पासड ओवर two movable sharp bridges having sharp knife edges and an electromagnet is placed in between these two and this is passed over a frictionless pulley and is attached to a weight hanger uh, we are using a step down transformer from ac mains and there are two options 6 volt and 8 volt of uh, step down it is connected here 6 volt option and a common terminal which is applied across the wire which is applied across the wire here to begin with the experiment let us put some weight here to a weight hanger to create a suitable tension say it is already put here 0.1 kg so two slotted weights are attached here so it is 1.1 kg so each of the slotted weights carries 50 g so it is totally 100 g and in the si unit it is 0.1 kg a suitable tension is created in the wire now let us apply alternating current across the wire switch on the mains ac mains and then the step down transformer and an electromagnet is placed between here on the wire at the middle of the sonometer board let us adjust the movable uh, bridges till the wire vibrates in unison with the frequency of ac so that the loop is formed the width of the loop should be maximum at a suitable length the loop will be formed here so that the maximum width of the loop is formed loop width of the loop is maximum safe so start sir the length is found to be 24 cm now here the wire is vibrating in unison with the frequency of ac so that there occurs a resonance where maximum width loop is formed the length corresponding to this resonance is called resonating length and it is about 24 cm similarly once again it is verified by varying the length here that is to confirm the resonating length again it is found to be almost the same 24.2 cm and mean of these two is taken as 24.1 and uh, this square of the length is taken 0.058 similarly by increasing the weight say next 0.15 and uh, 0.2 0.25 0.3 so in each case the resonating length is observed and its mean value is taken and square is calculated square of that value is calculated so uh, that using the values obtained in this experiment a graph is plotted for tension versus square of the length l square so you can see in the graph sheet this t and l square a suitable scale is taken along x axis for tension and uh, square of the length is taken along y axis tension is in newton and length is in meter square so now by plotting these points for 0.98 0.058 similarly all the points are pointed uh, marked here in the graph sheet and a straight line passing through all these points is strong a straight line passing through origin is observed so from this we find uh, the slope value by forming a triangle here abc so the B slope value bc by ab is found to be 0.06 and by substituting this slope value in the given equation frequency of ac 1 upon 4 root m into slope 4 root this slope value is substituted here m into slope m is mass per unit length of the wire that will be given so experimentally we have calculated the slope value graphically and this is found to be almost 51.02 hertz so this is frequency of ac which is almost similar to the standard value 50 hertz the frequency of ac is frequent uh, 50 hertz so when you look at the final result of this experiment 
the graph between t and l square is almost a straight line passing through origin the frequency of ac supply is found to be 51.02 hertz thank you students thank you for watching this experiment